Hello traders, FX Pep Collector here. Today is Monday, April 17th, and I'm going to be analyzing US oil or WTI starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. But first, take a look at my new trading course available to all gold Patreon members. Link can be found up here in the corner. So on oil monthly, I still think this is a nice uptrend. Looks like a one, two, three, four, and five. I think this de move down is a trend also, most likely a wave A. That would mean that this move up is most likely a cuts into this move down. Wave B, probably going up to either the 61 or the 50, and then most likely head back down one more time for wave C. I think this is all going to be an ABC cuts into this whole last move up. So let's take a look at that on the weekly time frame. Weekly time frame is where you can start to make out this trend. One, two, three, four, and five. Probably all part of a wave A. This move up right here I think is going to be an A also, but most likely an A of B. I think it'll go up and take out the high of wave four to finish off the A. Then go down and make a crescent for the B. And then most likely back up for a C. A, B, C of B. Probably to the 61 or the 50. Making a positive move down. Ending that crescent and most likely heading back down to make a bigger wave C just like what I was showing on the monthly. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I think this is the end of a wave five right here, most likely a wave five of A. We are definitely in an uptrend right now, and so far we do not have any structure to the downside taken out, telling me that the trend is most likely not over, and we're probably going to end up eventually looking something like that to finish off this big wave A of wave B. So, keeping all that in mind, let's head down to the 4 hour time frame. 4 hour time frame, I got my Fibonacci measure in this whole last wave up. It's kind of a series of waves, but that's definitely the last major swing low and the last major swing high. So, what I'm doing is I'm looking for 3 waves down, which we already kind of have 3 waves down. It probably will drift down a little bit more, maybe to the 50 or 61.8, but if it does respect one of those levels, make a nice impulsive move up, I would definitely take that as an entry to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. Something like this, three waves down, impulsive up, is going to be what I'm looking for in the future for my next entry to go long. So taking it down to the one hour time frame. One hour time frame, it looks like a one, two, three, four, five, probably a wave A. I definitely see three waves up right there, probably a wave B. I don't really think it's quite over yet. It's probably going to go down further to either the 50 or the 61 to make a wave C. If it bounces off one of those levels, makes it a positive move up, takes out Strutzer from this wave C, that's what it's going to take to prove to me that this is the end of a Gretzen, and that is going to be my entry to go long for the continuation of the uptrend. Trend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.